to practice proper cell phone etiquette. Don't make people around you wish that cell phones had never been invented. Mind your manners by following a few simple rules. You will need consideration and common sense. Step one, don't answer your phone and start chatting away if you are in the middle of an in-person conversation. If you're expecting an important call, set your phone to vibrate and then excuse yourself and go elsewhere to chat if the call comes in. Step two, if you are not near enough to your phone to answer it within three rings, silence the ringer or turn it off, especially at the office. Step three, if a phone rings somewhere inappropriate, like in a theater or during a church service, double check that it's not yours, even if you're positive you turned it off or silenced it. Step four, rethink your ringtone. Consider whether the volume or song snippet you chose might disturb some people. If it might, set your phone to vibrate. Step five, keep your voice down and the conversation brief when speaking on your cell phone in public. If you have to shout to be heard, make the call elsewhere. Never curse or talk about intimate matters when you're out and about. Step six, keep your message checking in check when you're with others by setting time limits, say one peak per hour. Step seven, if you must use your phone during a meal, excuse yourself to do so. Don't leave it on the table lighting up with alerts and don't sneak it underneath the tablecloth to check messages or sports scores. Step eight, don't talk and drive. It annoys 61% of your fellow motorists. Even though over half of all drivers admit using a cell phone while driving, cell phone use, even if you are using a hands-free device, also quadruples your risk of a collision. Step nine, don't call anyone after you've had a few too many. It's never a good idea. Did you know? Most Americans are opposed to lifting the ban on cell phone use during flights, according to numerous surveys.